It's not that we play a show and there's only 50 year old. No, it's it's really we have a young audience. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Belgian Jasper. If this is your first time in the channel, hit subscribe right now. Andre, thank you so much for your time uh, today. I'm really excited about it. And I'm, I'm sure that you and everybody in the event must be super excited these days because it is finally here. Um, you guys have been yes. working on the lead up to this album for such a long time. We saw the first single like almost a year ago. Yeah. Um, is that is that just the mindset right now where you're like, okay, super excited it's coming out? Or are you a little bit like, Phew, I'm finally glad all that you know pre-work is done and we can relax a little bit no i'm totally excited because finally we get feedback on what we did and um it's always yeah the, the moment you can't wait for to hear reactions and um how uh, to see how the people will like your music and so far the reactions are really good so i'm pretty yeah, excited yeah. This is your 12th full-length album that's coming okay. out. Um, it's, depending on how you count, it's either 35 years of Blind Guardian or, you know, let's 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 include the few years before that uh, with Lucifer's Heritage as well, 38, 38 years coming up on 40. Um, I don't want to make you feel old right now, but um, are, do you find that you are taking more often a step back and, and looking at this whole crazy ride and, 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 and also a little bit that legacy that you guys have built over time? Well, um, I don't think about this too often because as I said, we are looking forward and and uh, you are as young or old as, as you feel and I feel pretty full of energy and I have so many plans in my mind that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that the next five years are already filled with plans and so you are you are doing something you you finish something and you are always al already in the next project and focusing on the next so um, I'm of course I'm happy for the things we did I don't I don't regret anything um, even even if some things maybe later on you think, oh, why didn't we do that better? But okay, it was the best that that we thought of at that time. And um, so I'm, I'm pretty proud of our career. We are still mm -hmm. together. We are still friends. And still we have the passion for music, which, yeah. which keeps us alive, which is part of um, our whole lifestyle. And, and um, I don't want to change this. I feel really comfortable playing music, being around with the other guys. And um, so I'm I'm already looking forward for the next 20 years, you know, and if everybody yeah. stays stays healthy, why not? The, the Rolling Stones are showing the way. Exactly. <laughs> so so what I'm hearing say is like, okay, let's not expect a special 40th anniversary show in two years from now, but maybe when the 60th anniversary comes around, <laughs> it'll be time to, to do some proper celebration. <laughs> we were always thinking about a festival again, um, having a huge Blind Guardian festival with, uh, with many of our uh, friends, uh, oh, um, other bands, and uh, maybe have a huge gathering of this community you know yeah, yeah that would be fantastic but it's right now it's, it's you are you're so unsure what what is happening what's going on you cannot do this yeah yeah yeah, yeah. right so la last question before we fully look ahead and just really focus on the new material um you mentioned big festivals and so on and 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 we're still relevant and absolutely um i think maybe the popularity of the band has been greater than than ever before um Especially when you think about that one video with you guys playing Wacken where you do the Bard song and Valhalla together. That's one of, that became over the last few years one of those songs that when a metalhead 
and we all want to do that. We also want to introduce people to metal and want to show them what's really cool. That is what one of those go-to videos that people will play for their friends and, and you'll see reaction videos to that over and over and over. Not only was that a very fantastic and special, you know, performance, but seeing how one of those videos takes on such a different life and becomes like one of the, you know, uh, one of the examples, if you will, of like, hey, this is what metal is all about. Um, that is, is that just super weird in a very, very cool way to see as an artist, like how one of your performances just takes off like that? Well, um, what can I say? I, I saw that uh, many times people reacting on the Bart song or Mirror Mirror like yeah. this. For, for us, it's a normal thing. We, we see that every evening when we play because people sing along and they totally um, go crazy with these songs. And yeah, it's it's fantastic. I mean, Bart song became like a heavy metal hymn, so to yeah. say. And and it's great. It's uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that that we wrote something um people enjoy so much and and for me it stands for the for the community for for this peaceful community that that the music is really bringing them together and mm -hmm. uh, if you take wacken for example there's people from from all countries coming together there they don't know each other but in these shows they they get a friendship they they feel the music is bringing them together very close and and this is so beautiful i yeah, mean yeah. I, w I wish more things in this world would function like this then we would be a peaceful nice world right <laughs> I've had a chance to listen to the full album not just the singles um is it fair to say that not just a more from a live perspective feeling as being recorded but also songs that are overall straightforward songs that i expect to do well live i think you want to play a lot of the new songs on the shows is that fair? yes 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 in 23 we will start uh, bringing in more songs from the god machine and um, yes, they they have a better flow, and I think the reason for this is that um, when the um, we were in the songwriting and and then the pandemic started and we saw okay there's much more time, so let's spend it in the songs. And for the first time, um, we did demo tapes for each song, and so the songs could grow. We could find the box, we could see where they didn't connect well, and where we probably had to change the orange moss um, to to make them more yeah to to have more grip mm -hmm. and and when we rehearsed we had also time to rehearse which is usually not the not the way um, usually we were always in a, in a hurry time pressure songs were not ready but the studio day date was coming up already so yeah, yeah. you were you were just trying to finish the the songs and never had time to rehearse never had time to to play demo tapes and now we had this uh um choice to, to to spend more time to try out more things and that's why the songs came out let's say um yeah more um more more finished more more really um grown grown and and yeah we have a better feeling for them so um playing them live um is already on a level where we usually only get when we play the songs in a tour yeah, and yeah. and this is an advantage we have in this album so it has a better flow um on top we wrote way more songs than we needed or at at least we started more songs so uh, we could choose uh, which songs fit best together which was uh, another thing we never had before um, so um, we left out songs that we felt that they would probably um, be like a break in the album or, or yeah. slow down the album um, and we only chose the songs that that really almost brought in a, a red line and now the the album feels almost like a concept even that it isn't yeah. um, and that's what we try to achieve
feels like a concept album is not really name of the album, The God Machine, uh, a term that has been used in for many things, um, but most notably probably the book of Martin Caden, um, where uh, basically AI takes over the world and it's a struggle of, of a few people to kind of overcome this doom, if you will, for humanity. We see elements of that, you know, trying to overcome a big evil, if you will, in some of the songs. Um, is, is that meant, is, is that you said it's not really meant to be a concept album, so we shouldn't read more into that. Uh, but am I on the right track that there is that kind of like unifying metaphor, if you will? Yes, yes, yes. And um, that's what I like uh, on um, with this title. Um, some of the songs, you can connect some of the songs with the title. Um, you don't need to, but you can, because that mm -hmm. title leaves a lots of lots of space for interpretation. Right, and and you can see it from different perspectives, and that's what I like. And I don't want to solve this for you and say this is the meaning. I just leave it open, and if people listen to the songs, they see ah, there's a connection, there's a connection, and. Um, and then they will have their own thoughts and their own interpretation of what this title means. And that is, for me, a more interesting thing than just, you know, telling the plot and that's it. Um, I think Hansi has a great talent to, to leave lots of space between the lines that right. people can have their thoughts. And it's always like, a little push hey start thinking i'm giving you something here and you know do something with it and deliver us from evil um we look back in the um 17th uh, century and we we see that the, the witch hunts it was not not really good what was happening there mm -hmm. um and now when we when we look in the in the present time we have the um online um, medias the, the new medias and um, people say an opinion and and they get um, shit storms so, or, or you know or get flamed whatever and uh, it's kind of a witch hunt yeah. in in modern times so um, we maybe should um, see it in this way what we are doing wrong in the present and and get to some conclusions that we have to change some things and um, have a little bit more respect for each other and not um, um, go back to these uh, forms of, of witch hunting, you know. Now you mentioned, um, you know, as of 2023, we're going to be, in, you know, injecting more new songs into our set list. Yeah. Um, is that that is always tough for a band with 12 albums already and you know because there's there's a million expectations of the fans and and is that something that you guys are already like having sleepless nights on like okay how are we going to make a set list that that yeah, works it, for everyone it, it, is, it is always a problem and um, usually we have a song pool of 40 or 50 songs and then we choose yeah randomly but i think um this time we will try to to bring in probably some surprises because you don't want to play the same songs over and over again. Of course, we have our our greatest hits and yeah, yeah, yeah. and we could play them every evening. But there's many people who saw us probably several times in the past, and um, it's nice to to pull some other songs as well. And we will we will figure something out. I'm sure. Uh, looking ahead at you know what's what's coming uh, after the album is released, um, fans worldwide, what should they keep their eyes open for? You know, Blind Garden coming their way. Well, um, I hope that we can play all countries. Right now, it's it's difficult to say because we don't know what restrictions will come up. We are waiting. Um, we will wait till um, autumn and make decisions then. Um, so far nothing is booked, but the plan is to have a world tour in 23. 
and um, yeah, we will see. We are still in waiting position right now. We are we are we have the somewhere far beyond to a upcoming, which is postponed from twenty one, mm -hmm. and yeah, I mean. 22 we will we will stick definitely to the somewhere far beyond set list uh, talking about you know taking this music all over the world um, for you who has been at the front lines of speed and power metal or classic heavy metal um, is it sometimes interesting for you to see like how you know this music you know ebbs and flows in different regions at different times where like in north america nowadays all of a sudden power metal and speed metal is is getting that traction again the traction that it got in europe already in the earlier 2000s and so on um how how like different regions react in such different ways and now everybody's you know yelling that they want to see blind guardian play in their home country um ha have you seen that throughout the years that it's like oh you know we're now predominantly going to play in South America and oh now no, nothing in North America oh now we have to go to North America oh now you, Eastern Europe is really into power metal like, is, is that weird to see that 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 people kind of have this different, yeah, it, changing relationship it is uh, weird that that really in, in different countries you have different communities but of course um, uh, there's a reason for this I mean um, when the American metal came up uh, they have a strong radio scene and of yeah. course if it's if it's played in the radio all day um it's growing uh while in other countries you don't have rock radio and so there will be no promotion for for a kind of music like this and they listen to other stuff um but anyways we always uh, did huge world tours we came across all countries and we always have a loyal fan base everywhere so um we always could see that there's many, many people who are into that melodic uh, metal style yeah. that we play, and and yeah, I think we we sound pretty much European or German, if you want to say. Uh, <laughs> and and I'm fine with this, you know. I don't yeah. um, I'm I don't want to sound any different because um, we found um, our identification and. Um, and we are happy with, with the way we are going. And I'm happy that there's still, after so many years, um, we can fill the venues around the yeah, world. Yeah. And, and, and that's a great thing. And I know that, of course, there's other bands who maybe came with a newer style of metal only 10 years ago and they fill stadiums. Okay, I'm fine with this, totally fine. But we have our community, um, yeah, and it's still there. And I see, for me, a very important thing is when we play our tour, you always see 16 to 20 year old people in the front mm -hmm. rows. So I'm always, I always know we do a new album and we reach a new generation of metal fans. Yeah. And that is, that's important. It's not that we play a show and there's only 50 year old. No, it's, it's yeah. really, we have a young audience. So um, um, we are doing something right that we are even attract the younger generations. And that's important. And those younger generations might, if you already have a number of songs that didn't make it on this album, might uh, see even more music come their way sooner than they expect. Uh, or are those songs like Tony Iommi going on to like, you know, a vault uh, with a million songs that were never used and will never see the light of day? How is that for you guys? Um, well, if the ideas are strong and, and we think um, they are good, we will, of course, work on it on a, in a later t uh, point and um, but you always need to find um, let's say um, something that that this is yeah that you need more songs than one um, which are in the same kind of feeling right. um, to put it out because um, yeah we, we as I said we like to do albums we are not a not a song generation we like to have a full album and it yeah, yeah, yeah. needs to have a flow, a red line that you can follow. Yeah, and yeah. Um, so, yeah, some ideas probably are too extraordinary. And and then you need to find the right concept to put them in. 
Yeah, yeah. Maybe for that, you know, 60th anniversary box. With, Who knows? You know, yeah. a bunch of un like exactly, you know. <laughs> exactly the hidden treasures again. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Awesome, awesome. Well, Andre, I am super excited uh, for this album to come out. I, I think you're right. This is a very feels like a refreshing reaction almost to the previous albums and. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun seeing you guys play these songs live uh, in 2023 and I can't wait for that. Uh, with that thank said, you. I want to thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it and um, I wish you all the best in this ongoing release cycle because I know there's gonna be a lot of PR for you and I hope that you get some breaks in between. <laughs> thank you so much. I really enjoyed the inter inter interview. It was really nice and um, yeah, I hope uh, that we will have lots of fun with our um, people in the shows and the performance will be a challenge. I know that, but yeah, I think uh, in some years we will look back and say, yeah, we did the right thing. You are awesome for watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.